Meet Eve. She's found her way in hundreds of pieces to a museum in Oxford. This is a fossil of a plesiosaur, which is a reptile that lived in the sea during the time of the dinosaurs. And it was a very unusual looking animal, nothing like anything we have alive today. It would have had a really long neck sticking out the front, um, a sort of barrel shaped body, four large flippers, the shape of wings almost, um, and a short tail at the back. These majestic creatures, some as long as a double-decker bus, ruled the oceans for more than 100 million years. The bones of one of them were found by amateur archaeologists at the same quarry near Peterborough, where a Bronze Age settlement was recently discovered. And it's taken months to clean and assemble the skeleton nicknamed Eve. So this is Eve, she's 165 million years old, she swam at the time of the dinosaurs. Most of her skeleton has been pieced together like a jigsaw but her skull is still encased in clay. If you look closely you can see some of the bones, there's a jawbone down here and down here and little teeth that she would have used to feed on squid. Now this is a vertebra that joined her big long neck to her skull and this bone here is very remarkable. It has some features which are making scientists think she could be a completely new animal never seen before. Here at the University of Bristol scientists are analysing the last crucial piece of the jigsaw puzzle the skulls being scanned to reveal details of the creature's anatomy and they're convinced it's something special. We're looking at a cross section through the side of the skull. So what we're seeing is the top of the skull is here and the lower jaws are here and these are some bits of teeth. So this is the snout coming forwards. Back here is where the eye would have been. Um, we can see we have a lot of the bones that surround the eye and they surround the bit of the skull where the muscles that close the jaw would have attached. The fossil will eventually go on show once the museum's found a display case big enough. Helen Briggs, BBC News.